Hello, my name is Cesar Saavedra. I'm a technical marketing manager at GitLab. In this video, we're gonna cover the installation, configuration and use of a brand new GitOps capability called GitLab Kubernetes Agent. Let's get started. The GitLab Kubernetes Agent is an active in cluster component for solving GitLab and Kubernetes integration tasks in a secure and cloud native way. It enables uh, the integration of GitLab with a Kubernetes cluster behind a firewall or, an, or a network address translation. It implements uh, pool-based uh, CICD uh, GitOps uh, deployments by leveraging the GitOps engine open source project. And it provides real-time access to API endpoints within the cluster. Presently, the GitLab Kubernetes agent can only be deployed through our Helm chart. So in order to do this, we need to first install GitLab using Helm. So we're gonna follow the instructions in the documentation to install GitLab. And we're gonna be using this script right here. It's a bootstrap script that will install GitLab on GKE. And this script has a dependency of another script, script called common.sh. So I've already downloaded the scripts to my local desktop and we're gonna be running them, giving them specific parameters as indicated by the documentation. These are the parameters. So we're gonna run the script and this will instantiate, deploy and run a GitLab instance on GKE. The cluster has been created on GKE and is running GitLab. And we had requested to use a static IP and that's the IP address that has been returned by the installation script. That's the Kubernetes cluster that is uh, already up and running on GKE. And what we need to do is we need to set up uh, the static IP to our two uh, domain names that we're gonna be using for this demo. The domain, names, uh, domain name is git glab1.tanuki.host. There you go. And now we're gonna be doing a Helm repo at GitLab. Uh, and uh, I already added it, so it's already there. And we're gonna do a Helm uh, repo update next. And now we're gonna do a Helm upgrade install. And this is the step that we'll be uh, rolling out or installing a pod in the uh, GKE cluster with the uh, actual agent. We pass it some parameters, including the domain and the IP address, the cert manager Azure email as well, and the global CAS enable, we set that to true. And that way we install the agent within this GitLab instance. All right, so the Helm upgrade uh, has taken place. Let's check the running pods. Some are uh, initializing. So let's check again. Okay, good. So the uh, web service, which is the main console, the login console is up and running. So now let's get the password for the root user of the this uh, GitLab instance. And let's go uh, and log in to GitLab using the root uh, root account. Very good. So now we are logged on, and uh, next step is to create two projects. The first one is going to be called uh, GitOps Project. This is going to be the project that will be observed by the agent for updates and changes. Let's initialize it with an empty readme file and let's create an empty 
manifest.yaml file. We'll do this for now, and uh, later on we'll populate it with some infrastructure configuration. Let's go back to projects, and the next project to create is Kubernetes agent project. And this project is going to contain the configuration of the agent, which includes information about the other project, the GitOps project that will be observed by the agent, observed for changes and updates. We create a subdirectory here under dot, dot GitLab agents, and agent want will be the name of our agent that we will deploy to the um, destination cluster. Here we go to the documentation, and we are going to copy uh, the sample config.yaml. This is basically the uh, metadata that is going to tell the agent what projects the agent will be observing for changes and updates. And it's root GitOps project in our case. Very good. So now we have two projects, Kubernetes agent and GitOps project uh, and the GitLab uh, instance. So now what we need to do is we need to configure and uh, instantiate, uh, basically deploy the agent itself to the cluster. And one way to do that is through the Rails console. Uh, but to get to it, we first need to log in to the runner pod. So we're now inside the runner pod, and then we execute a command to get into the Rails console. And from there, we can create a project uh, which is uh, pointing to the Kubernetes agent project we defined earlier. We also create an agent called agent one, which is gonna be the name of our agent. And we create a token for it, which we'll use in a little bit. So then we create a namespace uh, in the cluster called GitLab agent, and we create a secret. Uh, and we use the token uh, from the Rails console that we created earlier. So now we're going to go to the documentation and make a copy of uh, the resources YAML file, example file. And this YAML file is the configuration of the agent that we'll, we will be deploying to the Kubernetes cluster. I've made a copy of it in my local directory. And the agent is going to be communicating with the agent server using WebSockets, secure WebSockets. Here is the domain information for the uh, GitLab uh, instance. And it's gonna be pointing to the Kubernetes agent project. So we apply this resources YAML to the cluster. Now let's see, uh, the pod's already up and running, the GitLab agent. As a next step, we're going to go to the GitOps project, which is the project that is being observed for changes and updates by the agent. And we're going to edit the manifest YAML file for it. And we're going to go to the documentation and copy the example manifest YAML file and paste it into that file in the repository. And as you can see, the namespace that this uh, pod's gonna use is GitLab agent, and the name of it is gonna be Nginx deployment. It's gonna have two replicas. It's gonna talk on port 80. And as soon as we save this file, we commit this to the main line, the agent will detect this and will update the configuration of the Kubernetes uh, cluster uh, and bring up two instances of the Nginx pod. And as you can see here, the, the two instances are right there. They're already up and running.
and to show you how fast the um, the modifications uh, take place and how fast the agent detects these modifications. Like, let's uh, increase the number of replicas from two to three. Save this and let's go back to the cluster and check the pods and we will see a third Nginx deployment pod up and running. So the agent is basically using a pool-based CICD approach. The cluster doesn't have to be exposed to the internet. It can be behind the corporate firewall and the agent is actually reaching out to the GitLab agent server and applying the new changes and updates to the cluster locally. So let's visit the cluster on GKE and navigate to the uh, logs for the pod that belong to the Kubernetes agent server. This is the the server side agent that is running within the cluster that is running in GitLab. And here we look at the log. Here you can see that is listening on port 5005. And we can click on uh, the different events within the log and see how it is detecting changes to the manifest file. That one is actually saying that the manifest file is not found. So it's monitoring the changes uh, in the GitOps project in this case and making sure, basically observing the manifest, manifest uh, YAML file to see if there are any changes or updates. Now let's, let's check on the agent uh, log files. And this is the agent uh, that is actually running on the, on the, you can think of it as the client side. And this just, I just happen to have the same cluster for uh, running GitLab and the, um, the actual application uh, agent. Uh, it, you know, in, in practice, uh, they will likely, uh, you know, most likely be separate clusters, one cluster running GitLab and a separate cluster running an application with, with this agent right here. And as you can see in the log, this every so many, so many uh, seconds, the agent checks with the agent server and to see if there have been any updates or changes to the project that is being observed. In this case is uh, the project called GitOps project. And as changes happen, uh, the agent is communicated of these changes and then the agent applies these changes to the local cluster. Uh, you can see in these, uh, in these messages, uh, the first two instances of the Engine, uh, Nginx uh, server that were deployed and started as pods. And also the last, uh, the third edition of it. So in this demo, you have seen the installation of GitLab and GitLab Kubernetes agent. That is our pool based CI CD for GitOps, which allows corporations and organizations to take advantage of our GitOps approach without having to expose their clusters to the internet. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.